Good morning or good afternoon, whatever time you're joining us. Glad to see you, uh, everyone. Here's my schedule for the day. It was nice to talk to people during morning meeting today. Uh, this is Alyssa, one of this was one of Alyssa's favorite books when she was little. It's called Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me, and it's by one of my favorite authors, Eric Carle. So I hope you enjoy this read aloud today. Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me by Eric Carle. And notice what he's put in here. Hmm, does one of these look like the thin, slim crook of the moon? Maybe. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and reached for it. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa, said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. There she is, reaching for the moon. Oh, do you see the face in the moon? <laughs> oh. The arrows are pointing to something. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at how big that is. Papa got a very long ladder. That's a very, very long ladder. This is well-loved, this book is. He carried the very long ladder towards a very high mountain. You see the high mountain over there? <laughs> oh, another arrow. Oh my, there's that very tall ladder up to that very tall mountain. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. Oh, way up at the very tippy top. There he's going. Hmm. Up and up and up he climbed. This is my favorite page. Look at this one. Giant size. Giant! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, there's that face. Wow. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I am just the right size, you can take me with you. Watch how this folds up. And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed. Do you see Papa there? Climbing down the ladder. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it into the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And finally, it disappeared altogether. Hmm. She's thinking, where did it go? But you know. Then, one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. There it is. 
Each night, the moon grew. And grew and grew. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. Papa, please give the moon to me. Written and illustrated by Eric Carle.